guys. So I wanted to talk to you about the book, my book game. Any student who has ever been with me will know what I'm talking about when I say the book game and they hate the game. They hate books now and they hate me because of this game. <laughs> but it is one, one of the most valuable exercises you can do for your dog and for your leash walking and for your dog's confidence. So many years ago, I wanted to compete with my Doberman Pinscher. She was my first competitive dog. And we went into the ring for the first time and we qualified, but her left turns left something to be desired. And we really struggled with her left turns. I was always like bumping into her to get her to turn left. As a dog owner, if you're out walking with your dog now, you may never have noticed, but you're gonna pay attention now that when, as you're walking along and you go to turn towards your dog, so if they're on your left, that's turning left, or if they're on your right, that's turning right. Either way, you're turning towards your dog. They're driven by their front feet, so they tend to just shoot past us. We take the leash and move them back around, and we don't, and you know, we just continue our walk and we don't think anything of it. I know, because I've done it, I did it for years until I had competitive dogs. Um, and so I had had many, many, many trainers give me advice on what to do about teaching my dog to turn left. I heard things like reverse a prong collar, wrap it around my thigh, and jab my dog with it so they would get out of my way. I was like, I don't even know how I'm going to get this sucker to stay there. <laughs> um, I had someone advise that every time they go to turn left to whip them with a horse's riding crop and that they would learn to, to swing their hips to avoid it. This was honest to goodness advice given to me. Okay, so finally one day, I'm walking through a PetSmart and I see a man and I've seen him before and he has uh, Schutzen dogs, IPO dogs, he does protection sports. And I'm like, man, I went to him, I went up to him that day and I said, the protection sport dogs have the best obedience and the best heels ever. How do you guys get your dogs to turn left? And I, and I was mentally prepared to do whatever he told me, because they really have the best left turns that you could ever see in competitive obedience. So I, I was prepared <coughs> to do whatever he told me. He told him, he said, I have my dogs pivot around a book. I was floored. What an excellent piece of advice that did not require some sort of harsh abuse. So, or harsh corrections. So I have never let a student since then leave a class without knowing how to teach their dog to pivot around a book. If you are on my YouTube channel right now, you are now considered a student and you're going to learn how to teach your dog how to pivot around a book. All right, so there's lots of ways to get started. Um, the most popular, the most common way is to just lure your dog across the book. And as soon as the foot touches, you can yes and treat or click and treat. Get it. And then you're just going to get them. Yes, good boy. On and off, on and off. Until there's, until there's quite a bit of confidence going. Did you find it? Good. Ready? Good. So I'm not calling it anything. There's nothing to call it at this phase. It just is what it is. We're just trying to get him to touch the book. Nice. Let's get a second. Nice. Very good. And considering his feet, we want him to be thinking about his feet, that his feet are getting on the book, and that's what we want out of him. Oh, let's get that other foot down a little. Then you're going to put that one. You're, we're not pointing at the moment. Thank you, buddy. Good boy. Good boy. Another way that I like to teach the, the confidence aspect of it is to play tug across the yes the book. So as soon as her feet touch the book, yes, that is so good. Yes. <laughs> Let me play tug on the book. Oh my goodness. We love to play tug. Drop. Yes. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so when she was a tiny puppy, or if you have a small dog, it was easy to take the rope and pull them right on top of the book and tug, 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 and play, 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 play. So you can use food to lure, or you can, if you have a very toy-driven dog, you can use 
the tugging aspect of it. Drop. Good. Uh, okay, so then I like to, yes, yeah, so she knows the book. So you want to get to a point with the luring and the playing on the book that one, they'll gladly put their feet on it as soon as it's on the floor. But what if I was to, if I were to pull her off of it, that she would sort of bounce right back to it. I'm looking for both feet. Good. Good. So if I pulled her off. Letting her think. I want that other foot up there. Yes. Very good. Very good. So stay at the confidence building phase as long as you need to until you reach a dog. You have built up a dog that if you were to bring the book into the room, they would want, they would want to go to it and put their feet on it. This is when you know you're ready to progress your training to actual pivots. All right, so when we're ready to start pivoting, she's, she's happily getting onto her book. I'm going to place her so she's in front of me. Okay, so we always start right in front and I begin to move. Good, in the beginning, you might have to take big wide steps towards their back feet to get them to move those back feet. But then it turns into little steps as we go around, good job. Yes, we want to always yes or mark them. Yes, while they're in motion, while they're in the act of moving those rear legs. Yes. Yes, good job. Good job. Once I'll gladly pivot in front. Yeah, I'll move them to heel position. And this is where, if I'm like, if you watch my body, I'm turning to the right. Okay. So but they're just going to be very tight, right turns. I'm going to give her a little, oh, that, a little bump, a little bump. And now I don't have to bump her because she already knows to move with me. Very good. But you might have to, you know, give your dog a little bump in the beginning. The hardest part is making those left turns. Vision, did you find it? When we make left turns, we want the dogs to bump us. Yes, very good. Now, to teach the left turns, you absolutely can use a leash and you can use some leash pressure. So, um, I always, I, I always like to start by turning their head out when we first start our left pivots, turning their head out because it makes their butt come in out. See how I turn her head out and her butt comes in. Very good. If you need if you have a very heavy bottomed dog, or a very long dog, you can use some leash pressure as well to help them turn their butts. Actually, you can see that the leash pressure somewhat confuses her because we didn't use leash pressure to teach her. Good, we missed one. Sometimes you'll, you have a heavy bottom dog um, and they'll need some leash pressure. But I'll tell you, you really don't need to use leash pressure if you've really built up excellent pivots in front first, right? In front first, and they truly know how to move those back legs. Good. And then we just pivot together. As long as you've really built up front facing pivots first.